see when you are going to assess the occurrence of a genetic uh, disease that is a disease which is caused by some gene one has to be aware whether this gene is dominant in nature or recessive in nature and uh, whether it is autosomal in occurrence or uh, sex linked so such kind of understanding has to be there in case of autosomal dominant uh, disease uh, we can understand uh, the probability of occurrence of that disease in the family its calculation is quite easy see uh, these are uh, some of the uh, diseases listed over here which are autosomal and dominant in nature like amyotrophic lateral sclerosis familial hypercholesterolemia then hypertrophic cardiomyopathy then neurofibromatosis type 1 these are uh, some of the diseases and in every case the pattern of uh, assessment will be exactly same in this pedigree you can have the idea that how dominant allele gets inherited to the next generation like uh, this individual or this female is showing the disease and that is why uh, she is shown in color and uh, her husband is uh, quite normal so if this female is sufferer then uh, she will be having dominant allele and most probably uh, she will be uh, having a single allele because uh, such uh, you know dominant allele in homozygous condition in most of the cases become lethal so this individual uh, sh shows a heterozygosity but because of dominant allele the disease is expressed and in the next generation uh, this couple has three children out of these uh, two are sufferers so they are shown here like in generation two individual two and three they are showing the trait so uh, when you see the marriage of uh, this one two in the second generation uh, husband is normal uh, wife is showing the disease then in the next generation uh, they have uh, one child which is sufferer it is only because this female of the second generation received dominant allele from her mother and she has inherited the same allele to the third generation into this son and uh, when uh, you see this individual that is uh, the fourth individual of uh, second generation who is totally normal it means dominant allele is totally absent in this case that fellow gets married uh, to a normal person and they have all children showing normal trait so uh, this kind of analysis is quite possible quite easy and one thing is quite clear that the disease gets expressed in both the sexes uh, equally another thing is if someone is showing the trait then definitely uh, one of uh, his or her parents will be showing the trait so these are two important points which one should understand in this pedigree also three generations are shown uh, you can see here that uh, wife and husband both are normal they have normal children since there is no dominant allele there is no question of expression of that disease in the family but uh, in another family you see this male individual is showing the trait because dominant allele is present over there and it gets inherited to the next generation in the individual four of second generation as well as in the sixth person of the second generation but when this fellow uh, the second four that gets married uh, with a normal you know male then uh, in the next generation they have children it means this female has inherited the dominant allele to the next generation so with this concept we can take up some of the cases like in this case you have to calculate the uh, probability of occurrence of the disease in the fourth generation in this individual so uh, you can see here what would be the situation uh, it's not necessary to go in the back generations here because you already know that in third generation the individual uh, three two this female is uh, having the dominant allele so in this case uh, the inheritance of uh, that dominant allele to the next generation uh, its chance will be there and there will be 
one by two chance that it will get inherited to the next generation whereas from the male side only normal allele will come so the occurrence of this uh, disease in the fourth generation child who is, is still to be born will be 50 percent but in this case uh, you can see here both parents are normal they have you can say recessive alleles so they will have all children recessive in nature even if this second and third uh, you know individuals shown in this uh, generation means second or fourth generation if they get married they will have a normal child means the occurrence of disease will be uh, zero percent so exactly the same thing same pedigree is shown here and uh, here the calculation pattern is shown that is in individual uh, three uh, sorry in third generation if persons one and two get married then the chance that they will have a sufferer or a child who will show the disease will be 50 percent and uh, in this case that is if the fourth generation persons like two and three get married then they will have uh, children whose probability will be zero percent so uh, the calculation or assessment of risk in case of autosomal dominant is quite easy uh, i have taken uh, another example here uh, if you consider this case then dominant allele is present in this fellow of the means this female and that gets inherited to the next generation that is second generation in the person one as uh, and uh, then this third one is normal but this fellow gets married to, uh, to a man who is showing the trait it means dominant allele is present over there and the chance of it getting inherited to the next generation will be there so uh, the chance will be uh, 50 percent because that capital a uh, because this fellow will always be heterozygous capital a small a because uh, that fellow will get normal allele from the mother and a dominant allele from the father so being heterozygous the chance of inheriting capital a to the next generation will be 50 percent and here in case if this five and six unfortunately six is not written over here but if five and six get married then they will have child that will be completely normal so calculation is shown in this case exactly the same pedigree shown in this case also uh, persons three and four if they get married they will have 50 percent chance of inheriting the trait or disease to the next generation and in this case if five and six get married then they will have children who will not show the disease at all so as i told the uh, calculation pattern of dominant uh, autosomal cases or disease will be very very easy and it can be easily done.